Hi everybody, welcome. This is Darlene with Featherweight Doctor. Um, you might be noticing right now that I have a white Bernina in front of me, which is definitely not a featherweight, but that is how I'm going to roll tonight. I'm working on a sample for a big event I have coming up out of state in the fall. And so it, my Bernina was up. The Bernina is what I'm going to use tonight to sew. How is everybody doing? We are having a fantastic summer, uh, lots of um, <clears throat> wood processing at my house. I'd like to say it's been restful. It is not. Uh, is not it's not been any of those things. <laughs> uh, we have to process our wood for the upcoming winter because we live in the country now. So what have you all been up to? Have you been gardening? Have you been... Um, on vacation. Tell me about your vacation. I can live vicariously through you. Um, yeah, let's, let's chat. I'm going to pull up my feeds and we're going to get going on this sample. I'll kind of show you guys what I'm working on. It's kind of an offshoot of the ombre sunset, um, block of the month I'm doing online. So it should be really fun. Um, all right, let me go here. Let's bring up my feed. So it is a, heavy 88 outside. That's, that is definitely kind of hot for around here. We are definitely more comfortable in the 70 degree temperatures. <laughs> we as in me. <laughs> um, and it has been far from that. I think it was 88 in my house last night when I got home from work. It was hot. It has been hot. Okay. Let's see here. What, what do we got? up my feet. Okay. So if you're out there, say hi. Tell me where you're from. Uh, Kathy's on from East Texas. Cindy Matthews is on. Don Williams. Odie. Hi, sweetheart. Um, oh, Elizabeth Sowers on. Hi. Over on YouTube. Uh, she and has a little girl named Maggie May and, or Maggie and I have Luna May and they are two little hot yellow blonde Labradors. <laughs> Mine's on this floor right here underneath my desk. She's sleeping on her face. Uh, Kathy wants everybody to know in East Texas that it is too dang hot in Texas to do anything outside. Yes, I my mother-in-law's in Phoenix and she feels the exact same way. Christina's on from Oregon. Hi, Christina. Thanks for saying hello. And Bonnie's on from Illinois. Um, Kimberly is on from Tacoma. Hi, Kimberly. <laughs> Kathy Bimi East Texas says, I'd like 88. 88's good. Hi, Minnie. Thanks for saying hi on YouTube. Bernadette is here. Y'all, I'm back to not having any alcohol. I have not made enough of a dent in this weight journey I'm on to, to allow myself any fun freedoms. So we're, we're just sewing tonight. There's no sipping going on for at least another month. The wedding is coming up in six weeks and I want to lose 10 more pounds. <laughs> Christina says, I've been down in Eugene helping my parents for the month of July. So I started a new quilt, a Lone Star quilt. <clears throat> well, you said Lion Star, but I'm pretty sure you mean Lone Star. Those are very fun. Hi, Nancy from Lake Stevens. How you doing? Let's see. Mine is on her day bed. <laughs> Good girl, Maggie. Good girl. Oh, thank you, Dawn. I know I feel good um, not eating, not having any carbohydrates or really sugar or really anything fun for the last couple months has showed me that I had a lot of inflammation and I feel, I feel a lot better, but we're just not quite there. I bought a couple dresses online. I like to online shop because I hate shopping in stores hate shopping in stores. Um, and they just didn't fit the way I wanted them to. And they were no size difference than what I was buying before I started all of this unfun stuff in April. So we're, I'm, I'm getting pretty strict. <laughs> it's probably a good thing. All right. I'm going to pull up my camera and show you guys kind of what I'm working on. Boop, boop, boop there. Okay. So I am coming to, uh, Omaha. Uh, in the fall, in October, and I'm mixing up what I'm doing there this time around. 
Um, we are we are four months into our Ombre Sunset Block of the Month. Uh, I have 24 people across the country, including locals, here doing it with me, and I am getting such a positive feedback about how people are just seeing drastic improvement between like month one and month four on their machine quilting skills. And most people are doing it on their feather weight, which I think is really cool. So I'm doing some samples for Omaha. We're going to do the four months. So here's um, month, I think that's month two. Um, this is month one. And then I'm working on month three right now on camera. I have to tell you my struggles too. So Ray, yeah, there'll be sip sip. Well, actually there won't be any sip sip at the wedding. That's a whole nother show. <laughs> Andy and I will have our own little private toast to our empty nesting. <laughs> you recognize that quilting pattern? Good, Don. Or I mean, Kathy, good. So anyway, we are... Um, uh, so I'm working on this. Ray's wedding quilt is done. Oh, what am I doing? Hold on. Oops, I thought I missed something. Okay. So Ray's wedding quilt is done. She wanted it to have a really fluffy batting. So we decided to use wool. They're going to be, you know, they're living in a tiny house up here in North Idaho. And so um, there was a bunch left over. Wool it has a nice loft to it. So I decided to take what was left of her wedding quilt and use as my sample. And I thought, I'm an expert. I know what I'm doing. And then I realized, <laughs> and then I realized what a pain in the butt it was, excuse my language, to quilt with a lofty batting and your home sewing machine. It's been a fight. This looks like a kindergartner made it. I'm not a kindergartner. I'm 27 years in. I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran. Uh, Cindy says, worked out in the yard this morning till I thought I would pass out from the heat. Oh, be careful. Uh, then this afternoon, I got maybe P kit ready to go on vacation next week. Nice. Good girl. Nice. All right. So I am just working on machine quilting. I have my walking foot on right now. Um, I love this fabric. It's um, it's called Gelato by E. e. Shank, and it's so much fun. Oh, Minnie, you have been away. Ray's getting married. Y'all, she found the nicest man. Seriously, my husband and I are overjoyed. And the fact that my husband is okay with all this, you know, because she's the baby girl, um, means that he really is a good guy. He is, his name's Aiden, and the wedding is in September. I don't understand how I have a kid getting married. I swear they were like babies yesterday. Like yesterday, they were babies. And now we're, now in the month of the bride. I, I think my husband and I need to watch that Father of the Bride movie. I think he would absolutely die laughing. You know, Steve Martin and all. It's one of my favorite movies anyway. My friend brought it up the other day, that movie, and I kind of forgot about it. And she brought up that scene in the movie. Was it the first movie where Steve Martin was, like, having a, like, fit in the grocery store about only wanting to buy six hot dogs, but they're selling him eight hot dog buns? And how... <laughs> oh, good, Leslie, you're on. Hello. And how... Um, you know, like it was a conspiracy theory by the bun making manufacturing company to sell them more buns than they need. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> oh, well, do you guys want to see the wedding quilt? I can show it to you. It's not a surprise. Uh, she picked out everything. Trust me. And so my mom in law, Nancy, who lives down in Phoenix, is the one that made the quilt for her because she. Oh, hi, Sandy Fowler. Hi, hi, hi. I'm so glad you're here. Um, Anyway, the quilt is made, it, the quilt pattern is called Deco, oh my gosh, I almost forgot, Deco by Lo and Behold Stitchery, and it has about a million pieces in it, and so when my mom-in-law in Phoenix called Ray and was like, I want to make you a quilt, she's not on here, so I'll tell you what we call the quilt when she's not around, we call it the baby maker. <laughs> She doesn't think it's very funny, but I think it's stinking hilarious. <laughs> Hi, Lisa Meadows from Arkansas, no longer from Phoenix. <laughs> Hi, Therese. It's been a long while since I've been here. Kept missing you, Darlene. Well, I'm here. We're all here. Okay, so we call it the baby maker. I'll get the baby maker. Hold up. I'll show you. 
Don't go anywhere. Okay, so first of all, y'all, it's a king size quilt. I mean like 103 square. That's ridiculous. <sighs> Kim Warren, you're here too. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, so I'll show you the back first because you can see the quilting pattern really well. It's called, so you can look at that beautiful wool batting. It just makes the nicest poof. Okay, so she actually, Ray liked the colors that were in the original pattern so much that she did the exact same color palette that's on the front. Gosh, this thing is just, uh, that's on the front of the pattern. Okay, ready? It's so pretty. Oh, maybe not. I need seven feet long arms. <laughs> okay. Do you guys see? So it has this rust color and navy and then a couple of shades of neutral here. Do you see? Isn't it pretty? Oh my gosh. It's so, look at how big this thing is. Before someone says it, no, I don't have the binding on it yet. <laughs> Hi, Joanne Lee from Alaska. How are you? Long time no see. All right. So when do we get to see the wedding? <laughs> okay, good. Bernadette. <laughs> so anyway, Reagan picked this quilt. It has about a million pieces and she's showing the quilt to me and I'm like, you ask your grandmother to make that? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, it's a good thing that you asked your grandmother to make that because I don't love you that much. It's not true. But I really don't. <laughs> 103 is not that bad. <laughs> uh, it's It was so much work. Mom made it for her and delivered it to me in June. And I just, just rolled off. It was actually the machine that broke the long arm last week. It was the quilt that broke the long arm last week when I had to drive to Missoula unexpectedly. So anyway, she loves it. Aiden loves it. They're so cute. They're so cute. You know, they're going to live in a tiny house. And I think it's kind of funny. Um, ha ha. That it's 103 square, which is definitely a king size quilt. <laughs> I'm like, it's, how is it going to fit in the tiny house? <laughs> They're adorable. Youngins. Okay, let's see. That much negative. <laughs> I know, Cindy Matthews. I know. So glad it wasn't my monster quilt that broke the long arm. Nope. It was my daughter's. All right. So we are coming around here. So we have started making final wedding preparations for the wedding. Um, she... I've ordered the, the pies because we're not doing a cake. She, her and Aiden are pie people. Um, <clears throat> you're welcome, Elizabeth. Uh, they are, let's see, I, this is probably too much information, but I ordered the porta potty because the wedding venue is at actually his family home. And there's too much, like their septic can't handle the overload of that many people. So we are bringing in like nice porta potties, nice porta potties. So that's all done. Working with the flower people, um, the chair rental people, the linen rental people. They're doing yes, Leslie. They're doing pie, um, pumpkin pie, uh, pumpkin pie, apple crisp, cherry pie. Those are the three pies. Reagan's favorite pie is, is cherry, Aiden's favorite pie is pumpkin, and then apple is in season, so that's what we're having. It should be fun. Should be fun. Um, let's see what else. 
everybody, because we're kind of in the heat of the summer here in North Idaho, so everybody is just trying to keep their grass green. It should be pretty. I'm really excited, actually. It's kind of fun. Okay, let's see here. The wedding is September 16th. So for those of you who have been off traveling and stuff, the, the, the tribe has decided um, that if you want, this is not required by any stretch, but if you want to bless Ray and Aiden um, for their wedding, we are asking people to send recipes for the kids so she can build her recipe box. So your favorite recipes, um, the you can mail it to the store here. Wait, the wedding is September 16th. <laughs> um, so you can mail it to the shop here and I will get it to her. We had some come in last week and I'm going to put them all in a nice little recipe box for her. And it's going to be one of her gifts at the wedding. So if you have a really cool recipe that you'd like to share with Ray for her and her future husband, feel free to mail it to the shop and we will... We will make sure it makes it into the recipe box for her. Um, one little caveat, her fiance is allergic to um, dairy. So try to avoid cheese or milk or dairy because um, he won't be able to eat it. <laughs> I totally chuckle at the idea that these two children, and they feel like children, although Andy and I were almost the same age when we got married. Um, are going to be cooking and making food and need recipe cards. And I'm like, when did we get here? Yes, Leslie, three by five cards. Yes. Um, pickle recipes. We like, we like pickle recipes. Might have to take a copy of that for myself. Yeah, three by five would be great. Do they have allergies or something? Yeah, just dairy. That's the only thing. No, he can have eggs, but no milk, no cheese, nothing like that. Three by five. Make sure you write who the recipe is from, too, because I'm sure she's going to want to thank you guys. We have a couple of family recipes in the Gurton side of things. We didn't really have it um, on my, like, family recipes on my side. My meme had some, my mom's mom, but not, we didn't have, like, things like that. Um, I don't know why we didn't have things like that. I come from a very big... French Canadian family. Um, but Andy's mom had a lot like from her mom and her mom's mom. So we have like one of our family traditions is, um, called shrimp butter and it's made with like cream cheese and those little canned shrimp, horseradish, lemon juice, uh, slivered onion. Um, and it's a dip for crackers and we make it around the holidays. Like it's a favorite for Thanksgiving around our house. Um, and Reagan, of course, is definitely taking the shrimp butter recipe with her. Um, and what else? We, uh, I told you guys a long time ago about the, the Gurton family pie, which is my, what my mom told me was, or my mom-in-law told me was um, a family recipe for a cherry pie. And it turned out to just be a pre-made pie filling and a can of cherry pie filling. So no homemade at all. But she had me fooled, so that's why Ray wants cherry pie at uh, her wedding, as she grew up eating it, uh, which is the family pie. But that is dairy. Oh, egg roll bowl. Yeah, no, the egg roll bowl, unless it's a different one than I know, is cabbage and soy sauce and sesame oil and eggs. He can have eggs. He just can't have milk or cheese. We did make your own pizza pie earlier this week and he was over and so he could actually like make a make a pizza with no cheese. It's very hard to get pizza with no cheese at a pizza place. <laughs> uh, and he was all excited. He made himself a barbecue chicken pizza. Luna, what you need? Oh, did you have dinner? I'll remind you guys about the recipe cards as we get closer. There's five whole weeks before the wedding. 
y'all, mine doesn't have eggs, so it should be good. Yay. All right. So my whole job is, so maybe y'all have some advice for me. So my poor husband is going to be a certifiable mess at this event. Certifiable mess. Um, and I, my whole job, I am quilting on gelato fabric, Joanne Lee. <laughs> my whole job is going to keep to be to keep this man from going co to complete pieces. Um, does anybody have any suggestions on that? I mean, you must have had baby girls that got married and daddies of baby girls that lost their mind. I need your advice. I need to have it. She does have an Amazon registry, Eddie. Barbie, hello. Is turpentine? No, no, no. Absolutely not. Barbie Stevens, no. Turpentine is not good to use on any featherweight parts. Naphtha. It's in the cleaning solvents aisle at the big box stores. It's lighter fluid. So if you have a Zippo lighter refill, that's the same stuff. Not turpentine lighter fluid. She does like apple pie. Yes. Not as much as cherry pie. Apple pie in the middle of September is just a good seasonal pie, if you know what I mean. Uh, scotch. Yeah. Or whiskey, one or the other, <laughs> in the flask in his pocket. <laughs> Poor guy. And he has a big, like, unapproachable exterior all squishy and gushy on the inside. Especially, especially for his little lady. Barbie, if you have gunky parts on that featherweight, use naphtha, let them soak, and then get an old toothbrush and scrub them down and the gunk should come right off. Gunk is my technical term. <laughs> Kathy said, good luck. I had a baby girl get married more than 22 years ago, but her dad wasn't alive at the time, so I can't help you with that. But moms also have the same issues, LOL. I don't know. I feel like, I mean, maybe I will be more emotional than I think I will be, but honestly, like... She's marrying like a gem. So it it's, doesn't make me, if it was someone maybe I didn't like, I might be sad about it, but I just know that she's just going to very capable, wonderful hands. So it makes it easy to just go, go fly little birdie. <laughs> Cole is supposed to come in for the wedding. He promises to be here. He will be flying in from Maui sometime beforehand. We've, we, he's 24, y'all. We don't have, he doesn't give us an agenda. <laughs> he's a grown man. <laughs> it may not hit me till later, Cindy. You're probably right. I mean, honestly, she, she's in my shop still twice a week for a couple hours, um, for in between her other jobs. And I mean, we hang out. So I, I think I can't really see that changing. I really can't. Um, Cindy says, did you spray base that piece, uh, for the floof seems to be quilting really nicely. No, I didn't. I pin based it. I don't know if you guys can see my pins and I had one heck and I don't mean heck of a time with this one. Um, look at the, look at the center. I have to steam that a little better, but there is some wrinkling in there. I didn't pin this one enough. Um, I pinned, I'm pinned this, the one I'm working on a lot and it worked better. I don't like using, <laughs> oh, thanks Leslie. Um, I don't like using, um, spray based on my quilts because what happens is that glue stuff gets kind of, um, it gets onto the needle of, especially on my Bernina, and then it will get down into the innards of the bobbin assembly. And then it's a real to do to get the, with, you know, to get it out, get the glue off of things. So I don't like, um, I don't spray base anything. I don't even really like like repositionable sprays because I just, I don't want it to get into my <laughs> more gelato. You bet. Uh, this whole quilt is gelato. My block of the month that I'm doing. 
<laughs> Are you going, am I coming to Maple Valley for a visit? Um, not any time in the near future. I am going to be back in Western Washington for So Expo next year. I have, I'll be in Phoenix, Minnesota, I think, and um, Omaha in the fall. So that'll definitely take care of my fall travel schedule. And then my next trip is probably going to be So Expo where I'll be in Puyallup, the Western Washington fairgrounds, but no specific plans on going to Maple Valley. The last time I was in Maple Valley, I didn't even recognize the place. Like we lived there when there was like all kinds of strict building moratoriums and stuff. And clearly someone took the hinge off of that because I could not believe, could not believe how many new um, like communities there were in housing developments. I didn't think that the town could hold more people. I mean, I definitely, I know they built that bigger high school, so maybe they were like counting on that, but yeah, it just seemed, it seemed kind of overcrowded when we left. And that was back in like 2014, 2015, I think. Cindy says she doesn't like the spray either. I use powder when I quilt on my domestic love powder. What powder do you use? That's interesting. Uh, a friend of mine uses Elmer glue stock on her quilts. Never had a problem. It also washes out. I believe that. I would believe Elmer's would do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, you've been gone since 2015, Joanne. Yeah, so I guess we left that same year because we left when we left around the same time. Maple Valley wasn't the same without us. So one of the reasons why I like this fabric so much is that it has so many different beautiful like shades in the gray day in the color gradation. And um, it just it just seems happy. It looks really happy to me. I like happy. <laughs> Kathy says there is some silicone spray that can help with the sticking. Just FYI, I wanted a mat for my brother machine, but tried this spray just a small amount and it did help working with my ruler. Oh. Well, that's good to know. Um, bow Nash, iron and sprinkle. I have to look that up, Cindy Matthews. That's interesting. I didn't know that there was such a thing. Oh, I have them. Okay. So these were supposed to be done today. I swear, it happens all at once in this shop. Like, it'll be, like, quiet, and I'll think, oh, I get to get all this work done, and then, like, 15 people will show up. I kid you not, five showed up this morning. That's a lot for my tiny shop. <laughs> oh, Quilter Selects has a powder, too, that you can use for fusing. Interesting. <laughs> ah. So another thing, wedding, wedding is on the brain this week. Another thing about the wedding, I started meeting with the local, um, like some of the vendors for like the flowers and stuff. Y'all, flowers are expensive. Like no joke. I had no idea flowers were so expensive for the wedding. We decided Ray really likes just like market flowers, you know, like Saturday market flowers. So I thought we would just get some like buy 10 bouquets or whatever from the local farmer's market and you know like dahlias will be in that time of year and um and then I but we she wanted her bouquet to be kind of special and she wanted Aiden's boutonniere to be kind of special and then obviously the groomsmen I'm not a florist I don't know how to put together a boutonniere so we um we I called and then I started realizing wait a second I've got both the dads need boutonnieres. I have the moms need flowers. There's three flower girls, two ring bearers. I'm like, holy schmoly, this is going to get expensive quickly. Oh, silk flowers. That's not a bad idea, Odie. 
I mean, then she can use them again, right? Now I sound like my mom. Oh my gosh, I literally just sounded like my mother. She can use them again. What the, what the heck? <laughs> Pauline Thurston just showed up on the sip and sew. <laughs> Did you guys have grandmothers that had plastic on their furniture? I did. <laughs> Plastic on their lampshades. I did. <laughs> okay, send me pics. <laughs> oh, mom's on. Hi, not that mom, the other mom. <laughs> Grandparents need flowers. Grandparents need flowers. I don't know if that's in my budget. <laughs> Tell you what, mom, you can have my flowers. <laughs> Guess what the name of the flower, the florist is in town. Everybody sit down. It's so funny. Grumpy Chicken Farm. <laughs> Seriously, that's the name of the florist. Grumpy Chicken Farm. Isn't that funny? It's amazing how fast it expands and then you have to adjust to cover. Exactly. Winky face. Just for the, so the tables we're borrowing, just for the chairs and her table linens for the tables, we're at over a thousand dollars. I'm like, oh my goodness. I mean, I guess not like using an actual wedding venue, like those, some of those things would be provided, but I wanted to use my friend who's a caterer and if we would have gone with, um, you know, an actual venue, then I would have had to use their caterer and I didn't really want to do that. So it's a given trade, you know, a give and take thing. <laughs> oh, I thought plastic was an East Coast thing. I was raised on the East Coast. Maybe it is just an East Coast thing. My aunt and uncle had those clear covers over their living room furniture. Yeah, because sitting on plastic is so comfortable. We did not, uh, oh, Joanne uh, Rhodes, uh, Pankoki? I don't know how to say that. Uh, we did not do flowers for the crimson. No one noticed and it looked fine. Did pocket squares. Oh, that's a good idea. I kind of like that. If my grands don't get flowers, then they aren't getting any Christmas. Oh my gosh, Kathy. <laughs> what happened to the budget? What budget? You guys heard the dress story, right? She had a budget for her dress. <laughs> And she doubled it with her, but I mean, in her defense, the budget we had given her was, you know. Oh, Pam's on. Hi, Pam. That's your neighbor. I love the name of that place. It is so funny. <laughs> All right, friends. Uh, Big Ben around the corner has reminded me what time it is. We're heading out to a campground because I'm going to sit around a campfire tonight. I want to thank you for joining me tonight, having a good belly laugh and uh, working with me on this fun sample. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. I will see you all next week.